Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Liz Lind. She is an herbalist. She's a yoga instructor, an acupuncturist. She's just all around amazing. Um, I think she's a beautiful person inside and out, and I'm so appreciative of her doing this interview with me. And um, she actually is my acupuncturist. So in those videos where I talk about acupuncture, I was talking about Liz. Welcome, Liz. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Thank you again. I know I've thanked you like 25 times since I've been here, but it means a lot. I appreciate it. One of the reasons I wanted to interview you is because, well, I find acupuncture fascinating, aside from the needles. I really do. Um, but also, like EFT, um, emotional freedom technique, it actually came from acupuncture. So I'm super interested in it, and I thought, some people that like to watch my videos might be interested in it as well. So the first question I wanted to ask you is, what is acupuncture? Acupuncture is an ancient technique from China. It's thousands of years old. And basically it is using tiny little needles that are about the size of a cat whisker, putting them into specific points on the body along energetic pathways or muscle meridians to initiate and to trigger the body's natural healing response. So all of our bodies want to be healthy and acupuncture helps the body remember how and starts to nudge it in that direction to promote natural healing. Wow, that's awesome. Now, what, what led you to become a healer? Well, it's something I've always been interested in doing. Even when I was a little kid, I would pretend I was a healer. <laughs> but I never wanted to be a doctor because I'm not into hospitals mm -hmm. or really into that model that I have the highest respect for, but it just doesn't fit my personality or lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of began this journey when I was living in Washington State. I had some amazing teachers. I started studying Feldenkrais technique, which is a very gentle physical manipulation to help the body readjust and heal itself. I began studying yoga. This is in my late teenage, early 20s. Oh. Studying Qigong with an acupuncturist. And I had my first experience with acupuncture at that time as well, and I thought it was an amazing thing. I then became a yoga teacher and studied skin care and natural beauty wow. and herbal medicine. And acupuncture was kind of the next step on my journey as a way to integrate all of these other things I've been, I've been pursuing and studying. So it's not like I really chose to become a healer, it kind of chose me. Okay. Just, You're just kind of led to it. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. So with like, um, with being an herbalist, you actually did that before you became an acupuncturist. Before and during. That's something I've been studying since my freshman year of college. I really, like had formal studies in herbal medicine. Actually, even before that, growing up at the Norman Bird Sanctuary mm -hmm. here in Rhode Island, I had a really good teacher, Hat Morgan, who taught me about the, the native plants. And while I was in acupuncture school, I also took a course of study to have a diploma in Chinese herbal medicine. And not all acupuncturists choose to study that. It's not not everybody's interest. Okay. So I have that formal education and exams that I sat for. So how long did it actually take you all this training, the herbalist? Or the well, the acupuncture yeah. school itself was three and a half years. It was ten wow. semesters of full-time classes and internship. It is a clinical master's degree, okay. so I didn't have to do a thesis, but I had to do externships. That's so cool. I worked in a hospital at Health South Rehabilitation Hospital for six months using acupuncture to work with people who had had stroke or drug overdose or other neurological malfunctions, big problems. And I did another externship working as a ringside physician in a boxing club. Oh wow. This kind of raw grassroots place and I worked with all the all the athletes, which was really fun. And I did another externship with James Williams, who's my mentor in acupuncture, and I worked in his practice. Oh, cool. Shadowed him. That is that's awesome because I was always curious about how you got into it. So, who would you say acupuncture is for? I mean, is there is it, who would you say it's for? It can really be for anybody. I have a lot of clients that come just for maintenance, so they stay healthy, and there's really nothing wrong with them. They just come to, to keep on track. 
and I work with people who are trying to get pregnant or are going through cancer treatments or have um, serious congenital issues where they spend their life in a wheelchair and they come in for pain management. So it's a, a wide range okay. of That's things. And some things it doesn't work very well for mm -hmm. and some things it's really effective. And it's definitely helped me a lot with my back and mm -hmm. just my overall outlook on life. It's like it, it cleared up some parts of me that were kind of like stuck or frozen. So I love it. That's yeah, awesome. I'm so appreciative of you. In closing, I wanted you to <laughs> you explain to me what a sun salutation was, and I did a video before on sun salutation, and it was just. Can you explain it one more time to me or define it what mm -hmm. it is? Sure. So sun salutation, the literal, the Sanskrit name for sun salutation is Surya Namaskar. And Namaskar, Namaste means I recognize the light in you as the same light that is within me. So we are one, we're from the same source. So honoring the sun in this way, greeting the sun, honoring the sun as our brother or father or sister, as, our, as another being, that we are from the same source and we are, through the sun salutations, we are actually becoming the sun and embodying that that prana that is so radiant. See? See what I'm talking about? It's beautiful. <laughs> well, um, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope everybody watching enjoyed this video and learned a lot, because I know I did. Have an awesome day.